Assalamualaikum and very good morning. A very good morning. So kita dicat terangkan sejak ini kan, uh, so that you can watch it wherever, whenever you want. Okay, for part five reading paper kan, what's the first thing you need to do? Uh, read the title dulu kan. Teenagers on wise consumer. Apa maksud wise? Wise ialah uh, bijaksana kan. Consumer ialah pengguna, right? And then we read the subtitles. Subtitles dia. Darren Chan, 16 years old. Nasim Habiti Abdullah, 14 years old. Obviously, all of these are names of teenagers. And, uh, ayah, yeah, tengok orang punya umur kan. 16, 14, 13, 15, 14 kan. Alright, that's good. So, we move on to the question. First, comparison. Help consumers save a lot. Apa maksud comparison? Perbandingan. Okay. 34. Only buy what you need and not what you like. Okay, perbezaan antara need dengan like. 35. Plan purchases to avoid impulsive buying. Apa maksud impulsive? Impulsive tu macam yang tiba-tiba uh, saja kamu beli. Anda kau banyak, anda banyak fikir pun terus kau beli. Okay, purchase to beli ya. Uh, plan purchases to uh, um, merancang pembelian untuk mengelak pembelian yang Mengejut yang tiba-tiba um, gitu. Uh, buy with you, within your budget so as not to waste your money. Budget, misal budget kan. Uh, per, per, perancangan perbelanjaan. Okay. And then waste. Waste ialah pembaziran. Alright. Good. So, after you read the questions, then you move on back to the text. Ni teacher tukar dulu warna supaya aku boleh nampak. Alright, speaking on being a wise consumer, I remembered when I was young, baru kita baca lah, kita baca sini lah. I used to buy lots of things whenever I went out shopping with my mum. Later, I realized that I don't really need, oh ada perkataan need, I don't really need them. It was at the moment that I liked those things. At that moment itu, pasal pasal like, itu pun mungkin menjadi impulsive buying. Okay. It was a waste. Always ask yourself, do I really need this? How often will I use this? Okay. Ingat kata dia ada perkataan need di sebelah sini. Kan? Eh, cot. Nak mulai rupanya. So, maybe, maybe, let's try to write that down. Cuba kita tulis di situ. A. Nanti kita kalau tersalah, tengoklah kan macam mana. A, line berapa tu? Line 2. Okay. Okay, move on to B. I always go to the market with my mother. She has taught me ways to become a wise consumer. She always has a list. Okay, list. Apa tu list? Senarai of things she needs to buy. With this list, shopping is much easier. And most importantly, consumers do spend beyond, uh, do spend beyond their budget. Hence, on itu, I make a list of what I need to buy and make sure it's within my budget, okay? Within my budget. This way, I don't spend money unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Supaya, ini supaya saya tidak uh, memper, membelanjakan duit saya secara tidak uh, tidak penting, gitu. Jadi, adakah, adakah? Plan, nah, macam plan tu, list juga lah kan. Purchase to avoid impulsive buying. Do you think it is? Should it be B? Sekejap, uh, sekejap. Tapi ada perkataan budget juga. So, waste. And waste is also spending money unnecessarily. Hmm, jadi macam B ni, eh, eh 36 ni lebih kepada B, I think. So, let's see lah. Let's see, ha? kalau betul. B, sebab ada budget. Dan juga, Spend necessarily, unnecessarily. Wow, tulisan. Okay, let's go to C. C. Do you think you are saving more when buying a pair of shoes at a huge discount during sales? Buying a pair of shoes itu adalah sepasang kasut. Huge discount, huge tu besar kan? Sangat besar. Beware, berhati-hati, sales promotion, promosi perju uh, promosi jualan. Okay, jadi berhati-hati dengan promosi jualan. Atau barang-barang uh, yang telah di uh, discount, ada discount. Having sales and discounts are one way for retailers. Retailers apa? 
uh, kiranya penjual lah kan, penjual atau company to trick, trick to menipu, trick consumers into buying at impulse, uh, menipu bukan menipu, meng Yalah m- macam memperkotak-katikkan pengguna itu sehingga mereka membeli secara impuls, secara tanpa berfikir panjang. Okay, impulsive buying, membeli secara tanpa berfikir panjang is usually triggered by emotions and feelings, emosi dan perasaan. So plan your purchases before you go shopping. So mana ya comparison tak ada kod. Nah, ini bukan tinggal lah 35. Do you think Plan purchases to avoid impulsive buying. Ha, ada. Plan purchases. Impulsive pun ada perkataan impulse di sini. So, I'm very sure this one is C. So, that for B is the question, for, uh, the answer for 36 lah kan. Let's move on. D. A wise consumer needs to compare the prices of good. Ah, ada perkataan compare. Compare the prices of goods. Uh, mem- membanding uh, harga goods tu, semacam good, perkataan G-O-D tu kan, baik. Tapi bila dia tambah S kan, goods. Uh, goods adalah barang-barang. Shop around and you'll find similar products sold at different prices elsewhere. The, uh, shop around, ini macam kau survey lah, survey di tempat-tempat lain. Anda akan jumpa Similar tu sama, produk-produk yang sama dijual so, pada pada harga yang berbeza di tempat lain. Look up the prices. Look up ni tengok dia punya harga kan. Look up tu and phrasal verb yang bagus. Look up the prices while on the go. It's worth the effort. Usaha itu amat bernilai. And you won't regret doing so. Anda tidak akan menyesal. Melakukan itu A wise consumer needs to be intelligent And hard working by research the current market So I think it's obvious kot The answer is D for 33 That So let's move on to the next part This part Last uh, tukar warna dulu Dan mana tu kita menggunakannya nanti Yaz okay. Last month I went to ZZZ shopping mall To do some shopping It's okay, okay, senang kan tu There was a 70% What? Kalau so, 70% Obviously mesti discount ni kan Adakah perkataan discount tadi ah, Ada sini kan? Tapi I think Yeah The answer is Discounts Untuk kasih ingat kita, diri kita Kita tulis dulu sini Si Line tu Okay Supaya kasih ingat kita Di mana kita dapat tu, tu Jawapan tadi I could not resist Apa maksud Could not resist Tidak boleh uh, Apa tu namanya Resist tu menolak, ha, tidak boleh menolak. Jadi, I cannot resist. So, I went on a shopping spree. Shopping spree ini macam kau, Ooh, shopping, berhabis kau. Ber, berjimba kopi, banyak duit mu. With my friend Eve. I tell myself that I must only spend within my, ha, bila kita jumpa perkataan spend within, kita tahu sudah itu, within my budget. Macam tadi tu kan ada, mana satu? Ini nah, within my budget. Okay. Tertuntunnya ada budget. Let's try that. Ini saya tengok salah. Uh, yakinnya aku. Itu adalah B line. Line 4. Cuba je. But when I went to the shopping mall, I was attracted. Attracted. Tertarik. To many cheap items. Cheap, ah, ha? Cheap itu yang murah, kan? Jadi saya tertarik kepada banyak barang-barang yang murah. I borrowed. Oh, ini, ini orang bahaya ni. I borrowed, saya so pinjam some money from Eve. Weeks later, I look at those items that I bought and told myself, Why? Kenapa? Kenapa? Apa? Now. Uh-huh. Aku, minggu beberapa minggu kemudian saya nampak barang-barang yang saya beli tu dan saya terfikir kenapa bla 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 you shouldn't buy what you don't need jangan beli apa yang kau tidak perlukan semenjak itu since then I've learned to become a wise consumer so that I could get my money's nah, kalau ini perkataan ini kita tahu sudah semuanya but I'm not sure where is that but it's okay Kita tengok dulu. Okay. Kenapa 
apa sekarang nah, Jadi ini ni Soalnya adalah kata sifat adjektif Jadi kamu perlu cari perkataan Bukan selalunya bahan Secara logiknya Kenapa nyenyek sekarang Adjektif ataupun verb kan hmm, verb, verb pun boleh Kenapa sedih sekarang Kenapa kecewa sekarang Kenapa um, Kenapa ben- membenci sekarang ha, Boleh kan Why hate now? Tapi nak melogik bah. Cuma minggu beberapa minggu kemudian saya tengok barang-barang yang saya sudah beli dan berfikir kenapa? Kenapa? Apa apa, apa macam rasa emotions ni kan? Okay. Uh, kalau secara logiknya mesti emotions tu di sini. Jadi adjective lah bukan verb. Jadi kau baca lah nak dari awal sini. Adakah adakah perkataan yang uh, emotions yang boleh kau letak situ? Okay. Cari cari ah. Uh, uh. Okay, sini macam tak ada, sini macam ada, cok di sini. What's the consumer needs to compare? Compare to verb. Adakah? Why compare now? Tak logik. Shop around and you find similar products, so, uh, similar ni, adjective cuma. Why similar now? Eh, tak ngam lah. Uh, sold. Why sold now? Tak logik lah. Different prices elsewhere. Look up the prices while on the go. It's worth the effort. Adakah? Uh, Regret, ah regret, ni ni ha ha, regret, macam logik kan, why regret now, you shouldn't buy what you don't need, kenapa kau nyesal sekarang, lepas berminggu-minggu kemudian, gitu, since then I've learned to become a wise consumer, said I couldn't get my money's, my money's, apa, now ni, okay, tapi selanjutnya kan, My money tu mesti adalah perkataan worth. Anak kita letak dulu ni di line 3 tu kan? Okey. Yang worth ini my money is worth ni idiom ba idiom. Jadi senanglah untuk kita uh, tahu apa perkataan situ kalau kita tahu idiom juga. But we must make sure the word worth is here. Ada dalam sini. Ada kak? Cuba kamu tengok sini, dah ada sini dah. Cuba, ah di sini ada worth. Ada betul lah kan? Let's check. Mari kita check. Betul kan tak jawapan kita? Kita nak baca pun i sama f kan i kesiandor. Okay, the answer is D A C B. D A C B betul. Uh, kedua discounts betul. Budget betul. Regret betul. What? Lapan per lapan. Very good. Okay. Dissolve, baby. Bye.